Welcome back to my Slut Rooster 90 Day Discipline Challenge Day One. Yo, day one was, <laughs> when I tell you day one was rough, day one was rough. So what happened was I did wake up at four, but I went to bed after 9.30, which means I didn't get eight hours of sleep. It took me a while to become a person, meaning like I couldn't function. I was scrolling Twitter, right? Cause I don't have a morning routine. So I wasted a lot of time not really knowing what I should do, not knowing what would, you know, kind of just being my own habits. And so that that wasn't good, but hey, it's okay. It's day one. And I learned probably one of the biggest things that is why I started this, right? The main why is I thought I could put three or four different things on my list that were big projects, right? I'm I'm working on business credit. I'm working on personal credit. I'm working on um, my Facebook store and there's something else I'm working on, right? So I got four, oh, buying a car. So I got four major things I'm working on. And the Facebook store, I don't know why I thought two hours was plenty, but between all the researching, trying to figure out my first sale and how to process things and deal with this one uh, wholesaler, it was just a lot. And it ate up a lot of my day. And yeah, so I left the day. I ended at five. I felt very defeated. I don't know how you have a lunch at 10 a.m. So that was interesting as well, because it's not really a lunch. It's like a later breakfast. But yeah, so day one was a little soul crushing because I really anticipated just like killing it and feeling like, yeah, but it didn't. It, it wasn't that I didn't get things done. I just thought I would have accomplished a lot more. And I think that's the biggest problem is trying to accomplish so much and not being realistic and not uh, focusing on efficiency. So that was one of my biggest lessons uh, for today is <laughs> just realizing like I bit off way more than I can chew. And I got a lot going on. I mean, if you, if you just remember the four I just mentioned, like that's a lot of stuff because it's not just buying a car for a lot of people. It's like, I want a Honda, I want a Camry, I want it black, I want to have leather, I want a nice sound system, I want a moonroof. That's how I used to buy cars. But because I'm very deep in financial literacy, now I understand the car market. Now I understand how they price out cars. And so I don't, I can't buy a car the way I used to, which was just, what do you want to be in? Now it's, what do you want to be in times? And then there's all these new metrics, right? Um, the mileage matters more for now what I do. You know, the package, right? The performance package, the driver's pack, like all these packages and premiums and performance, whatever, that matters now. So before you could buy the base model and be fine, but now I'm trying to buy all these other things because that adds more value to the car, right? It's, it's a difference between buying a Mercedes C class and then buying a Mercedes C63, right? Because the 63 is now something else. And then adding the AMG on that, which is them tweaking the engine and making it more, you know, driver performance. So do you see the difference? So it's like, it's, and so now it seems a lot more particular because it's not just a Mercedes. It's not just a C-Class. It's not just any O63, right? But now trying to do that in a market where, you know, things shot up, right? We're in a bubble. We're in a, we're in a car bubble. We're now a 2012 Mercedes is going for $25,000 where maybe, you know, 14, 15, two, you know, 20 months ago, that was going for like, you know, 15 and a half. So now you're paying an extra 10 grand on the car, but it's not like it's newer. It's not like the interior is any nicer. It's not like it has all the features you want. You just pay more because we're in a bubble. So that has been my, my, my complexity. So everything is complex. Building credit is not just I mean, having good credit is not just a 700 score. You have to have a built profile. You have to have certain things on your profile. They have to age. You know what I'm saying? So do you see how all of this and me going, oh yeah, I can get that done today. How? Everything is time. Everything is research. And you have one, two, three, four things, not to mention dating, not to mention I have two puppies, not to mention I need, you know, what I need, right? I need to shower. I need to groom myself I need to eat breakfast and run lunch all that shit so I learned a lot about myself day one
is that my life is a lot. It's very unorganized and there's a lot of unrealistic things. So that's day one. So my biggest focus tomorrow, I'm off. Yay, still working about four in the morning. <laughs> and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time organizing it a little bit better because right now it's a shit show. And um, it, it doesn't leave a good feeling when you got up at four and you thought you were gonna accomplish all of this and you don't. But anyways, I will see you guys on day two, which is tomorrow. I am hoping to do something relaxing because today was a lot. And <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and like this if uh, you want to keep seeing more stuff in your feed about me. See ya. Okay, so we are going to. I.